Hi, I'm Dr. Mitch Chasen, Medical Director of Reflection and a 20-year veteran in the field of cosmetic medicine. Today we're going to be talking about a really troublesome condition called melasma. So what is melasma? How do you know if you have melasma? Melasma is a condition whereby mostly females notice brown patches in their skin and kind of a dirty complexion to the skin. We don't actually know what causes it, but we know it's related to female hormones in some way, as many women notice that they develop it after pregnancy, sometimes associated with birth control pill, and even in vitro. The cure for melasma has been very elusive. It's very difficult to treat it, cure it, and prevent it from coming back. Very commonly, we see patients that come into the office and it's misdiagnosed by different non-cosmetic physicians or at spas. Very often, it's treated as a sunspot. And if you treat melasma as sunspots, not only may it not improve, you actually may worsen it. So it's not uncommon that patients will come in having had IPLs and deep peels and other kinds of treatments, and now these brown patches are even worse. What we're going to be talking about today is an innovative treatment for melasma, transazemic acid. Transazemic acid is a medicine that's used for heavy menstrual bleeding. Well, in Europe, they noticed many years ago that some women that were treated with oral transamic acid were actually noticing improvement in their skin, in their melasma. So the newest thing in melasma therapy is actually taking transamic acid and injecting it directly into the skin where the problem exists. There have been many studies about the use of transamic acid injected directly into the skin. And unfortunately, the results were not predictable. And it's been determined the reason is you need to get that transamic acid at a specific depth using a specific amount. So what's new in our field now is using a computerized delivery system, a system that can deliver an exact amount of transamic acid to an exact depth. And that has changed the playing field. And we're now seeing great results with injectable products to improve this troublesome condition. So with melasma, it's not a one-size-fits-all treatment. We use many different technologies and topical agents to treat this troublesome condition, and transamatic acid is just the newest in this arsenal. In deciding about the best treatment for melasma, we take many things into account. The color of the skin, the depth of the melasma, is it epidermal or on the top surface, or is it dermal? Is a patient sensitive to specific medicines, like vitamin C or the retinoids? What have they tried? What has worked? What may have aggravated melasma? What time of year is it? And what medicines are they taking currently? Do they have any underlying health conditions? So it's very, very important to take a very detailed history and do a good physical exam. And it's very important to see physicians who are experienced in treating melasma. We look forward to seeing you in the office. And if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and we love to hear your comments.